What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome my friend. In today's video, I thought we would talk about theming the Raspberry Pi OS. Now, the Raspberry Pi OS is optimized to run on the Raspberry Pi, obviously. However, in my opinion, the theme that we've seen for many years now is outdated and I would like to change the theme on it. So our options are limited. There are some ways that you can get around this, but we'll go over those in the video. So stick around and let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to have to do is open up Raspberry Pi Imager. And we're going to choose our OS. I'm not going to use a 32-bit OS because I do. I am using a Raspberry Pi 4 gigabyte. So I'm going to choose Raspberry Pi Other. And then inside of there, we can see that there is a Raspberry Pi OS Lite that does not have a desktop environment. And we also have the Raspberry Pi with the desktop. I'm going to choose the Raspberry Pi with the desktop. But if we do go with the Raspberry Pi with no desktop environment, we can go ahead and install our own like Ubuntu Mate or XFCE. And those desktop environments will allow us to customize our Raspberry Pi more than Raspberry Pi OS will. But Raspberry Pi OS is built for the Raspberry Pi and optimized for it. So that's what I'd like to stay with. So I will choose that. I will choose my storage. And before I click right, I'm going to go into the advanced options and make a few changes. So I'm going to change my host name. I'm going to enable SSH. I'm going to change the username, the default Pi username. I'm going to give it a password. And I will configure my wireless LAN off camera. I'm going to set my locale. I'll save those changes. And when it's complete, I will hit right. Okay, now that the Raspberry Pi OS has installed to the SD card, we're going to throw it into the Raspberry Pi and boot it up. There's going to be a few changes that I make. I'm just going to install the screen capturing software that I use on the Raspberry Pi, and I will meet you on the desktop. Okay, so welcome to the desktop of the freshly installed Raspberry Pi. And I did do an update and an upgrade. And like I said, I did install my screen recording. I'm just going to open up a terminal here just to show you. Make that bigger so you can see. And it is the kernel 5.15.32 for a Raspberry Pi 64-bit. All right. So as you can see, it's pretty terrible. I mean, I understand it's completely optimized for the Raspberry Pi. But let's see how we can change that. So if we go into Preferences here, we have Appearance Settings. And that is it. So if we go into Appearance Settings, we can change our background, colors for our text, taskbar, so you don't get to change a whole lot. However, if you go into the terminal, You can open up LX Appearance, if I can spell. And that gives you access to a little bit more, as it says, to customize the look and feel. Uh, there is one other way to get there. And if we go back to our preferences and we go into the main menu editor, and click on preferences again. 
we can see that there is some stuff that is not checked off by default and we can add those. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, that themes and appearances, if we select that and hit OK. Now, if we go into our preferences, we have the menu option to go into that same customized look and feel. So they're using Pix flat. And here you can change the color. We can change icon themes, mouse cursors, our fonts, and some GUI options. So you can go through here and change your themes. And I do like dark themes. So if I was just use what is available, I would use the Atawata dark and apply that. And the color theme, if you or the icon theme, if you wanted to match it up, you can choose that. Go with GNOME. So just to match it up, I will go with that. And you can see it's starting to change our icons. And now to I would like to move my taskbar to the bottom. So in here we can select that to the bottom. And then you can also change your background photo from the stock image. So here's where all of the wallpapers are stored. I don't know, let's say mountain. And you can download and put into that user share folder. And I'll just click on that to get it again. And it would be in user share RDP dash wallpaper. So that's one way that we can change the appearance of our Raspberry Pi. And it's a good way to use what's built in. Um, another way that we can is LXDE supports GTK2+. Plus. So any themes that are GTK2 themes would work. And I know a lot of people do install the ARC um, theme, but there is one that has been modified uh, to work for the XFCE desktop, and it works pretty well in GNOME as well. Um, and that is the Dark Olympic theme. So if we want to install that theme, we can open up a terminal window again. And the shortcut that I'm using to open up that terminal window is Control, Alt, and T. And then to make the size bigger, I'm pressing Control, Shift, and the plus button. So to install that Dark Olympic theme, um, we're just going to type sudo apt install. And don't worry about having to pause the video and have a look at this. I will put this in the video description. Anyway. And I clear the screen with Control and L is the shortcut. Um, another way to uh, clear that screen is just to type clear. Okay, so with the prerequisites installed, now we can go to a site like gnomelook.org and we can pull the tar file from there. And as a matter of fact, in gnomelook here, if you do a search for uh, GTK2 themes, um, you will find them. So let's just go GTK2, no category. Sorry, we would do the search up here. All right, so that has downloaded and will be in our downloads folder. So 
I'm just going to extract it here. So there's everything there for it. So these are located in user, share, themes. If we just do an LS, we can see all the themes that come up. So we're just going to make a directory called dark dash Olympic. Oh, I need sudo to do this because it's in the user share. Actually. And there we see our Dark Olympic directory. And I'm completing these commands with tab. And we can see there is nothing in here. So if we go back to our downloads, let's go back to our home directory with that. And we can go into our downloads. and into our Dark Olympic directory. And we can copy out everything from the current directory since we're in it to user, share, themes, Dark Olympic. And hit enter. And dash R, sorry, I forgot that, and enter. And again, forgot the sudo. Okay. So now if we go back to slash user slash share slash themes slash dark Olympic and do a directory, we see them in there. So we'll clear the screen. And now if we go back to our preferences, and appearance and themes, we can see the Dark Olympic and we can apply that. So as I said, I just like the look and feel of this Dark Olympic a little bit better. Another theme that you can um, install is the BSM simple theme. So if we just do a BSM simple, it's another great theme, in my opinion, of course. And let's just maximize this screen and clear this download. So when you find these, you can see the install instructions here in their kind of in their readme. And a lot of times, if you click on the files like we had done before, you can grab the tar file and do the same process for the Dark Olympic and put another directory into your user share themes and then just copy the files into there. Okay, so what about icons? So we can look for icon themes. And this is going to default to the latest, or we can click on rated if you want to see what has the highest rating. And a lot of people do go with the Papyrus icon theme set. But as you can see, there are many themes, icon themes that you can choose from. 
Okay, so, and I know this one already, you just go to the files, download the tar, and we're going to extract it into our icon theme directory. So, they have the different papyrus icons for different types of themes. There's the Atawata folders for papyrus, and you can go through this list to see what there is. And we'll just wait for that to finish downloading. And there it is. So we will extract here. And just be patient. I'm going to open up another file manager. and show you where you have to install them. So again, this is going to be in user, share, and icons. So here is our icon set. So as soon as this finishes extracting, what we'll do is we will move those over using the file manager instead of the terminal this time. So you have both methods that you can use depending on which one you're comfortable with. So I will just pause the video. Okay, that finished unpacking. So we're going to copy out the folders. And then over on the icons folder here, we're just going to paste. Okay, so what I forgot to do is if we just open up a terminal, and we'll just make that bigger again, uh, what we have to do is open up the user share icons uh, with sudo. So the file manager is PC man uh, FM, and hit enter. So now it opens up a file manager, a graphical file manager, that is, with pseudo privileges. So again, we'll copy those folders and we will browse to the correct location, which was user share. icons and then right click and paste that's going to take a minute so i am just going to pause the video and like always be right back all right so that has finished copying so now if we go back to our preferences and we go to what we added the theme and appearance settings We can go to our icon theme, and now we see the papyrus icon themes in our list. I will just apply those, and there we go. So a few of them, though, what we're going to have to do is log out and log back in. So I am just going to do that, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. So now we can see the icons look a lot better and already our Raspberry Pi OS is looking fantastic and we still get that optimized performance. But this is where I'm going to leave you in this video. I hope that you learned something new today and I also hope to hear from you in the comment section below. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.